The state's COVID numbers reveal 14,482 new cases in the past seven days. It's about 2,068 cases a day, and we have lost another 67 lives to the virus. For some insight into the increase in this week's numbers, let's bring in Dr. Frank McGeorge. That's right. Uh, so, Doc, the daily average has almost tripled from the start of April. Is this something that people should be concerned about? You know, Kim and Jason, I wouldn't say concerned, but people should definitely remain aware. You know, with the significantly increased transmissibility of BA2, we fully expect to see more cases. And frankly, with widely available home testing and largely asymptomatic cases, the numbers are certainly an undercount. Now, frankly, we are expecting to see a steady rise in cases into May when we will ultimately hope there will be a turnaround. The more important number here is really the rate of hospitalizations. And although it is up slightly, it remains completely manageable. And even more importantly, there really hasn't been much of an increase in ICU admissions. And that speaks to the point that although the case counts are increasing, so far Omicron BA2 is not driving more serious illness. Wow. Uh, well, you know, Doc, Dr. Dr. Fauci was on TV yesterday. He was talking about how the U.S. has come out of the pandemic phase and transitioning now into the endemic phase. Is this current increase, is that consistent with what he's saying? Well, well, yeah, it kind of is, you know, in the sense that we are seeing an increase in cases, but not a significant increase in hospitalizations, ICU admissions or deaths. Ultimately, this is really where it's probably all headed. There's going to be a recurrent pattern or wave of infections without significantly increased severe illness. Mm -hmm. But, you know, just like with the flu, every so often a new variant or a strain, if you will, is going to come through and it's going to become a bigger problem. Mm -hmm. The idea that there is going to be zero COVID or that it's going to go away completely just is not realistic. Hopefully, with vaccinations, immunity after infection, and more widely available treatments when people are infected, it's hoped that future waves will remain manageable or essentially endemic. Yeah, and we, and we can live with it. Okay, Dr. McGeorge, we appreciate it.